We're going to get ready to bring you into game two here between Slaughters and HOC Cambodia. For those of you guys who are watching that game one, it was a 3v5. Now it's going to be a 4v5 as if Slaughters wasn't dangerous enough. They're now showing up to this match with another player. So you'll see all the matches that I shoutcast on YouTube as we're going to be bringing you to the starting lineups here. Mm -hmm. Four slaughters. We have S2 Misha playing Elf, Actinomysis playing Cruzdor, <laughs> Armageddon SDT playing Lunasa, and Tactician X playing Jambra. Four hot Cambodia. We have Kamer 1111 playing El, uh, Airfern, Helm being played by Cambodia 2222, 22. Regian playing Elf, Kuzdor being played by Shihak yes. 168, and Belandis being played by Cambodia 888. So the Hawk Cambodia Guild starting to sound like uh, the Sammy Fermis and the Ultimate Masters. For those of you guys who remember the Ultimate Masters in the HOC promo series yes. 4. Time and here go. we go. 4v5. Slaughter's winning game 1. With only 3 players, can they win game 2? That is the question. Time to go. <laughs> Looks like they're going to make quick work of that train. Take a look at how Cambodia, they're doing just the same. You'll see that Helm right now is the only one hanging, or excuse me, it's Helm in a tree in the forest. Working their way through some jungle mobs. Indeed. <laughs> Yes! It will die. More than it hurts me. Sure. As it should be. That's not possible. Perfect pleases you. Alright, slow and steady wins the race. Time to go. Still one minute through, and we haven't seen any uh Team fight just yet. You can see Balond is trying to harass uh, Jumber and Kuzdor there on the bot lane. Sure. As it should be. Yes. Slaughters works with a really fast pace in these matches. Now you can see there's a silence. He's not going to be able to finish the combo. So the flank is not going to be a successful one there. Kuzdor is going to be the target of some attention. Airfern doing a real good job keeping Jumbra silent. There goes the stun combo, but it's not going to receive any follow-up here. And it looks like all that harassment that both teams were exchanging is going to lead to a soft reset. Two minutes in, Slaughter's, uh, excuse me, Hot Cambodia in the lead right now. Just over a thousand gold. Now we'll see. Does Slaughter's level as fast as they did in that first game? Or is the addition of a fourth player actually going to hurt them? There you go. Nice job with the stun combo. Lunasa and Jumper trying to pile in. On the top side, you can see that Elf manages to take down Helm. And they're trying to go for gold here on this bot side. Elf is going to get taken down dangerously low. She's going to run back underneath the tower and go back to base as well as Jambra. So Slaughter's coming up with the first blood there on that top side. As it should be. Appreciate everybody coming out to watch today. As it should be. Time to go. As you wish. Yes. Hot Cambodia now working their way down to this bottle, uh, bottom side. And very tricky situation there. Nice job with the stun. That's going to slow some of this advance down. Lunasa trying to divert the attention there of Hot Cambodia. And again, S2 Misha taking down Helm in this top side. The tower will, unfortunately, though crash in uh the train will crash into the tower that is 
Now you can see here that uh, Tactician X is not able to handle all four. Nevertheless, it is 0-2 right now, and the person you don't want to have the kills, there she goes, S2 Misha. <laughs> Nearly taking down Airfern. Now Belandis, the last one of the pack, he's going to get stunned and slow. The chain CC is just too real. S2 Misha coming out with another kill. There goes the knockup by Kuzdor, double kill going over to Misha. And you can see Kuzdor running back to base three on one right now are they going to be able to secure this kill doesn't look like it is i'm pretty sure they're going to get ready to turn back around oh lunasa oh so close so close but she takes some lethal damage there from the tower i think she's going to want to go back to base and that's exactly what she's going to do 440 on the clock s2 misha three shots three shots Region. and again Region proving to be the uh the weaker link here as you can see, uh, Cambodia 22-22 also having a little bit of trouble here on this helm. Unable to lane effectively here. Time to go. Just around a thousand gold lead here for Slaughters. Indeed. Just over the five minute mark. And it looks like Airfern is going to get caught. The stun does connect so Lunasa can't cast any spells. Kuzdor now also silenced. Belandis joining the fight. Indeed. Ultimate by Lunasa will connect. That means that Armageddon's going to come away with a kill. There's another kill going into uh, Kuzdor. As he's going to pick up a, a double kill there, taking down Melandis. Zero to eight right now. And Slaughters is twice as powerful right now with four players than they were in the last game with three. Fine. Just a friendly reminder for those of you guys who, were he uh, who weren't here for the first game. Slaughters. Winning a 3v5 against Hawk Cambodia. Now mm -hmm. they have 4v5 and uh, they're putting the paint on here. First, uh, first team to actually play under a penalty. Nevertheless, it doesn't really seem like the penalty bothered them at all as Slaughters was the first place champions in the HOC Promo Series 1. A little over a year, a year and a half ago. Well, I think around two years ago, actually. And there goes the ultimate. Nice job there. Lunasa is going to take the kill. Drumber is going to take the damage for the team. Kuzdor taking down Elf. And he gets the double kill as Airfren also gets taken out as well. The train's going to connect with the tower unimpeded. Helm now is in full retreat. And if they really wanted to, they could just muscle their way underneath that tower. And it looks like that's exactly what ends up happening as the creeps end up taking down that tower. Now, what does Hot yes. Cambodia do here? They are severely underleveled. Airfern, level 5. Helm, level 7. Level 7 for Elf. 6 for Kuzdor and 6 for Belandis. To S2 Misha, level 10. Kuzdor, level 9. 8 for Armageddon SDT. And uh, 8 as well for Tactician X. And it looks like they're going for somebody else. There goes the ultimate by uh, Misha. And unable to land the stun combo. Kuzdor looks like he might be able to get out safely. And perhaps Ward being thrown down there by both sides. Mm. 7.39 on the clock. 0 to 11. Yes. I, if I had told you without you watching that first match that a team was going to go 3v5 and win. Looks like S2 Misha ran out of luck there. So he's going to finally get taken down. Kuzdor with the knockup. Now you can see Armageddon in a lot of trouble. They're going to pile in. Lunasa trying to throw the ultimate to slow it down. Nice blink. Oh, man, the blink. So OP. Kuzdor coming in to finish up the job now. All of a sudden, Slaughter's trying to turn it up. Kuzdor taking down Elf. And it's going for the double kill. Helm gets taken out as well. Lunasa. Oh, my God. A triple for Kuzdor. A quadra. Unbelievable. Can he go for the ace? A rampage for Kuzdor. I apologize for yelling in the mic. I apologize to my wife who was trying to watch TV quietly behind me. But a rampage by Actinomysis leaves hot Cambodia in shambles.
Yes. Let's take a moment of silence for that team fight. Now they're going to work on that objective here. Nine minutes on the clock. One to 16 is the score. Slaughters, if they haven't pulled away, uh, saying that they've pulled away is a little bit of an understatement. They have taken this game to a whole nother level with the pace that they're running at. Yes. Hot Cambodia. What do we say here? I mean, I haven't even had a chance to look at the item yes. build, but it really doesn't really look like much. Helm of Divinity, a little bit of magic pen there for uh, Actinomysis. Yes. Actino, a.k.a. the Balandus Lord. Now, do you As to Misha taking out another couple of kills. Lunasa taking down Balandis here. It's going from bad to worse now. Airfren, I don't know if he can continue healing through that. There goes Lunasa working with the chain CC. It's going to give Armageddon SDT a kill. 119 now. And this game is going from bad to worse right now. They are top speed right now. Yes. Yes. Ten forty on the clock. Mm -hmm. Ah, Cambodia in danger of losing this match if they let it get any worse. Can they stop the bleeding? And it's looking pretty bad there. Lunasa is going to land. Uh, excuse me, Kuzdor is going to be the one to get the knockup. A double kill for Actinomysis. They're still going in it. S2 Misha taking down Elf. Balandis trying to use the ultimate to slow this down, but Actinomysis has just been on fire. Helm finally taking down uh, Elf. And it is just wild with Carnage here. gonna be a soft reset here what do I say at this point I've officially run out of words to describe the kind of punishment and it looks like the ultimate will connect on Lunasa but Jumbo is gonna be right there to assist his teammate there's st they're sticking to him but it's not enough damage here they'll just have to settle what's going on flash cuz hope all is well Oh my goodness, Armageddon is just making it miserable for these guys to get anything done. Look at that, Lunasa, not a strong champion. And just the amount of sustain, she ends up picking a kill up thanks to Armageddon SDT. A double kill for Kuzdor. Are they able to take down the train? It looks like they are, so... Action going on both in the bot and top side here. This next tower is almost on its way down. There's not going to be able to mitigate any of that damage. Look how much Kuzdor just completely nullifies Erifern there. Lunasa picking up the kill. Tower goes down. Slaughters again. Punishing hot Cambodia at every aspect of this game here. 13-15 on the clock right now. 2-29 to is the score. Slaughters winning a 3v5. And now they're winning a 4v5. So... An extremely strong team here. There goes Belandis with the ultimate, but the follow-up is just not there. Belandis now going to get taken down dangerously. Low Helm trying to charge in to disrupt Elf. Is it going to be enough? Kuzdor manages to take down Belandis. Does he get a double kill? Yes, he does. As Kuzdor, as the opposing Kuzdor gets taken out, Elf now taking Helm. And now the creeps will start marching their way onto this next tower. 
You will be eclipsed. Indeed. As this game could be over in the next five minutes if Hot Cambodia cannot, if they can't stop the hemorrhaging. What do we say here? I'll take a look at the items now. I mean, what do you make of it? Slaughter is not even full. Not even full build yet. And look at that, Actinomyces, the MVP right now. Actinomyces and Armageddon SDT are the two MVPs of this match already. 3-0-18 for uh, Armageddon SDT. And 17 0 and 8 4 Actinomyces. Yes. So Slaughter's in the house. My anger smolders. No. Mm -hmm. And this is just a testament, man, that they clearly can show that they can win a 3v5. So having all five members is probably just as dangerous, if not exponentially more dangerous. To go. Mm -hmm. As you wish. Time to go. Another team fight there. As Tumisha makes quick work of Helm. Belanda's having to go through to the teleporter. Not going to be enough there. Whose door is in it? Has to waste the ultimate and the blink. Oh, fail flash. Nobody saw that. Actinomyces with the fail flash there. Still manages to get the kill. Now you can see uh, Kamer trying to rock the ultimate. Is there a way you can add me to play? Uh, I haven't played in a while, so I'll let you know next time if you message me in private. When I start playing, when, when I start actually playing games again, I'll uh, I'll be sure to add and stuff. Nice job there. They're going in for it. Another kill streak there. Jamba taking a kill. Elf also taking a set of kills. Gets a double. Tower's almost down, and it looks like they're gonna work on this inner tower and they're gonna walk right in and just as I said this game could be over before we know it nice job using the ultimate there stunning s2 Misha even if just for a little while Nice double kill there by Elf. A triple. I highly doubt he's going to be able to get the Quadra, but... And that's going to be a surrender there. GG. Hot Cambodia. Going down to Zip.